hello welcome back to our video today we are going to show you how you can do the Ford DX plus IDX test snap pro so we are going to show you how to do it so you can wear the gloves first we will let you know uh, step by step you can wear the gloves first after wearing the gloves you can take a sample our patient name is the lemon so the sample can be serum plasma or the whole blood with EDTA or with heparin the anticoagulant this is our blood with the serum so we put in the EDTA tube I'm going to take the three drops of the blood from this tube so um, this is a pipette which we can use and I took enough blood so it's here so after that one I'm going to close this one EDTA tube I'm going to close this one and I put it back to the rack so the next step we have this uh, this type of pipettes inside the IDX uh, box you can take a one pipette from here so after taking the pipette you can put the blood drops but in just try to make sure it's not touching to the wall three drops of the blood one two and three so you can put the three drops of the blood with the pipette and then you can use the reagents uh, the IDS concentrating sample is also inside you can use four drops of that uh, reagents just try to make sure it's not touching to the wall one two three four after putting these two fro uh, dro uh, four drops then you can close the cap and then you can just twist it like three to five times two three four it's not necessary to count it so you can use uh, so just try to mix it gently after mixing this one now your sample is ready to pour into the kit so now this is our kit you can open this kit like this it's a bit hard they pack it very well so this one you can just open it now you can see here here are our four test one is the normal the the positive one and rest of them are the four sample test we are going to put our sample here once it will come in this point it means like now we can put it into the machine to run the sample so now I'm going to add this sample into the machine like uh, into the well sample well the whole sample which is total like the seven drops three drops of the blood and four drops of the sample now it's inside you can see here now I will put it in a very uh, plain surface so it will run smoothly once it will be reached to the dot which I show you which is like the opposite end of the sample well then you can put the sample information in the system which is uh, we are going to show you how to put the sample information in the system 